Faith is a living force from a living word for a living proof. In Kingdom Ways Living Church, we serve the God that confirms the word of his servants and establishes the counsel of his messengers. Listen and get activated because you are next online. I want to thank God. My testimony goes, they had conversion in 2015. After the convention, that the general said that all the women should come and see, see him after the convention. And when it was about baton, we went. And before the convention, I used to experience miscarriages for about three to four times. And the last one I carried, I carried the baby up to nine months. And the baby died in the womb. So after that, my neighbor introduced me to Kingdom Ways. And I joined the church. So before you know it, the convention came up and we went. So after the convention, we went to see him. When it was my turn, I was pregnant of this one. After three years of losing that one, I was pregnant of this one. So when it was my turn, daddy gave me a prophecy and told me that somebody vowed that they will not hear a cry of a baby in your husband's house. But this one that is coming, that was 215. This one that is coming, that nothing will stop it. Amen. He said that this one that is coming, he, her name is going to be for Oma. Amen. He said that nothing will stop this prophecy. Like a joke, I claimed it. He did not give me any prayer to pray about it. <laughs> so I just claimed it. The baby was about six months then. So after three months, before you know it, I started having BP. And the baby was delivered in 36 weeks. She was not all that okay. So, and she was, because of that BP, she was too tiny. Her weight was 1.7. And that, 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 that yoke that daddy had broken followed her. She was alive up to today. This is the gear. I want to thank God. I want to thank God of Kingdom Ways. May God alone be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to celebrate the grace of God in this house. In year 2015, after Harvest and Thanksgiving, I decided not to be a pastor because of what I'm saying and what I'm passing through. Then on 2016, I'm not going to church anymore. I've been also on Sunday, I worship my, my wife and my children. Used tight and offering, I went and dashed some, uh, some people who see on the loose. Then one Sunday, a junior pastor in the same church called me. Say, Abraham. I said, Ah, hey, what's happened? He said, I don't take on church. I'm going to I have left the church. He said, Where are you? I said, I'm in Kingdom Ways. I said, Doing what? I said, I'm there, member. It's okay. Where is the Kingdom Ways? He said, I'm going to show up. I'm going to It's okay. No problem. I will come. But that Sunday, that I, when I came, that thing marvels me so much. The man we are in altar pre uh, preaching after preaching, and he wears something like pocket shirt. He says, "Sir," and whom he says, "Sir," and give my word, Pastor Madu. I after I kept Pastor Henry, this your pastor is too much. Say which one? I said the one that we are so no. The one that we are ordinary shirt is the the head pastor. I said, "Wow, what type of humility is this? In fact, this is my church." Then when I went back and I told my wife, Mommy, I have found a church. Can we go? He said, Daddy, we can go. Then on Sunday, we start, we moved. That second Sunday that we came, the man of God mentioned me. After he church have said, as a pastor here, that God wants to speak to you. <laughs> my, I just said, look at him, you brought this man and never again. Then he mentioned the second one, the third one, and then loads of He said, see me in my office. Then when we went, when we went to the office, now my brother, he opened everything about me. When he was singing and mentioning the case, singing and mentioning, I started shedding tears. Because it's rare. He says, Son, you have labored for God without evidence. Kneel down, let me bless you. Hallelujah. Now, when I kneel down, he started releasing words of blessings upon me and doing everything. Ladies and gentlemen, that blessed child of God. Since that particular 2016, September till today my life transformed. Hallelujah. 
Then in my family, we are passing something we call poverty. My mom was living in a mud house with a cracker, the cover, and nothing else. Even the block that I started in one year, one block, nothing moves on. I myself, I was living in a mud house in the end of the Nothing. But that 2016 to now, I have a house in the village, five rooms and paro and dining. <laughs> See, then I bought a car this year. Today, I'm living in two bedroom flats. Thank you.